As usual, if you are tuning into the archive, go ahead and skip past all this intro part because I'm just sitting here waiting for people to show up and it's going to be a little dull for a while. Hello, Philip. Hello, Matt. Uh, aside from family getting the better of me, I'm okay. I have family that tends to be over dramatic at the worst times, and it's just kind of hard to keep my brain where it should be. Uh, SIC Auto Vagin. No, I did not. I, I don't really follow SIC. The aesthetic only works for me some of the times. Really depends on the series, so... Yeah. I, I don't think I saw it. Feels like it's been forever. It kind of has. It's been almost a full week since the last stream. But yeah, I'm, I'm sorry about missing it on Tuesday. It's just... Oh my god. Th there was no way I could have stayed awake for it. No way. Like... I was completely out of it at that point. I, I didn't, I didn't want to have, like, crap gameplay because I was going so, so tired. And I didn't want to, like, fall asleep in midstream. Which was a distinct possibility. Okay, let's see. Quick question here. Uh, Noah, no, I don't have any of the Takara Transformers RIDs. Um, I, I, I don't know why. Like, I know the paint jobs are better, but I don't enjoy those toys enough to pay import prices for them. Like, there's a few repaints that I, I might want, but nothing that's, like, really dragging at me. Oh, SH? It's an SH autovagin? Yeah, I definitely didn't see that. Uh, thoughts on Cybertron lug nuts? Uh, I like that toy more than most. Of course, I, I kind of like when they do, like, old-school-style motorcycles for Transformers. So, it, it and aesthetically, it hits me a little better. I know the toy's got a lot of flaws. A lot. Yeah, 253, I'm feeling better. Like, I was feeling fine yesterday. I was just, like, super tired. Like, I'm a night owl by nature, but I have big things coming up uh, next week that I need to be on, like, normal sleep cycle for. So I'm kind of, I'm trying to do, like, a hard reset thing. Uh, hoping to see tomorrow's Nintendo Direct. I'm not really sure. I know the stuff in the Nintendo Directs that I generally like are the ones I don't uh, I don't really expect. So I'm not really looking at anything right now. Grimlock, one of those repaints? No. Um, like the Nemesis Prime repaint looks cool. Um, I I I am going to have. Uh, Takara R.I.D. toys, because I have the Battle Grimlock on pre-order. That one looks amazing. And the big the big Optimus that actually has, like, actually transforms like a normal Transformer, I want to get some version of that. I don't know if I want the original or the repaint, but I really, really like the look of that toy. Beast Wars, what animal mode would you be? No, re <laughs> no repeats from the show. Um, make me a, make me a lion and eagle fusor so I can be a griffin. I was always upset that we got fusors and they didn't do any more mythical monsters. Uh, what movie verse line was the best? Honestly, I'd say Dark of the Moon. I thought the engineering in that one was really clean. I liked the gimmick being external so it didn't interfere with them. Like, every toy I picked up from that line, I didn't mean to get. I just kind of happened to get. But they all turned out better than I expected. 
uh, first first Cybertron toy do you recommend um that's a good question there's a lot of Cybertron I really really like I don't know if there's a good like first one to get like this is going to sell you on the whole line um I don't know I really like evac evac uh, evac's a really solid one uh, well's up there I'm looking the I'm looking at the shelves now and I, I think if you get one I, th I think uh I think sideways is probably the one and it's a good transformation it looks incredibly good oh thoughts on Super Mario maker I love that game like that's what I do during podcasts. Like when I'm doing like WTF or Wrestle Talk Radio, I, I I just kinda sit there and just goof around in Mario Maker, figure out what kind of tricks I can do with the bombs and things. I don't make I don't end up finishing a lot of stages, unfortunately, because of it. I'm just more interested in goofing around and seeing what I can do. Uh, what do you recommend for dusting toys? I've got a makeup brush for that. Like this, like big, broad makeup brush. Because the bristles are a little bit softer than a toothbrush. Good bit softer than a toothbrush. So it's a lot more gentle on the toys. It doesn't risk scratching the paint. And generally the bristles are a lot longer, so it gets into nooks and crannies a little bit better. Now, I do keep like stiffer paint brushes around too, just in case I do need to get into deep crevices. Uh, do I still have my Mugen Vine? Um, I've only got one left, and that's Mugen Hercules. And even that one, I'm kind of thinking of selling. Uh, the Mugen Vine stuff, man, it just sat in the for it sat in the box for years, going untouched and unplayed with. It's just it displays on a shelf really, really badly. So I never really, I never really kept uh, shelf space for it for too long, and. The last, uh, last time I tried to get some out and play with them, they broke on me. Like, the pegs just collapsed. So I, I got really nervous about playing with the rest of them. Now, did someone ask what common Rider to start with? Okay, first one to watch if you're new. Okay. Um, here, the answer I give is it's based on anime preference. If you like something more comical, then I would suggest uh, Deno. If you like something more dramatic and serious, I would suggest Kabuto. And if you want something somewhere in the middle, uh, I would suggest uh, Double. And when, when, uh, once you uh, get one, once you get one under your belt, then I would go to like, uh, like Gaim or Agito. Depending on you know, Gaim's a little bit sillier, but the story is incredible. Agito is like as dark as Kamen Rider gets outside of like Shin. Where, where do you get the Mugen Bind? There wasn't any secret. I got most of my Mugen Bind off eBay. But that was back when they were much easier to find. New stuff for Gaiman Drive. I'm still not really digging Drive stuff. Like, I got the two Henshin belts, and that's pretty much it. Like, I think I got, like, like three or four shift cars and shift bikes combined. The new stuff for, for, uh, <clears throat> for Gaim always looks fun. Of course, you know, more lock seeds means I'm, I'm happy. Wizard's not a bad place to start. Wizard is, Wizard is one I think is really good to watch on the first run through, but I don't think it holds up as well when you when you start to think about the show too much. Gaim Gaiden 3 was announced. Who was it? Like, who are they doing? Nintendo could have done be better with the Amiibo costumes. I think it's fine. Like, 
the sprites in the future game start getting really complicated, and that would have been a ton of work to put in, like, you because know, there's, like, over a hundred amiibo costumes in that game overall. It's kind of insane. That would have been just so much work, and it's amazing to get 8-bit sprites as it is. And I think it makes the 8-bit Mario stuff a little bit more appealing, since a lot are going to, like, tend to avoid that for... Like, Mario th 3, that's more classic, and, like, Mario World, where you have more abilities. Alright, I'm gonna try and get a capture card for consoles in the near future. I'm trying. I really, I'm, I'm trying to get it. Because there's a ton of things I'd like to play, but they don't emulate well, or they're on a system I can't emulate. You know, like, I've got Wii games that I would love to stream. Zachary, don't get impatient. All right, so. How old is this game? I believe this is 2002. This is up there. Favorite Ultra Magnus? Sorry, it's G1. Oh, he's gonna be G1. Thoughts on Transmetal 2 Dinobot? Really, really cool looking toy. Uh, kind of a mess of a toy. They are, uh, unfortunately very floppy. Everyone I've played with is just kind of a mess of incoherent ball joints. Alright, so when last we left Ratchet, we got the Magna Boots, which allow us to walk across grates and metal platforms. So we need to get back to where I was before. So do I have a quick way? Is there like a cab or something I can take? Ah, I think there is. Alright, fast travel me. It's really handy that they left something so I could, like, go straight to the spot I needed to go. Alright. Hang on. Uh. Oh, don't, I don't even... Oh, jeez, I don't even have a gun selected. Hang on. <laughs> I forgot about that. I can't jump. Try voiceover work? I've gotten that question before. Yeah, the trick to voiceover work is it's... Uh, the trick to voice acting is the acting part. Have you seen me try to act? Even if I have any, uh, even if I have any kind of voice that would be good for a cartoon, I do not have the acting skills to be able to handle that. Oh, what did I mismap the controls? I, hang on, I can't get my quick select to come up. Ah, 
Oh, oh, and I, and I walked off. <laughs> okay. Let's try this again. It will be less embarrassing. Probably not. And I jump off immediately. This is what I get for taking a day off. Like I'm complete, I'm completely blowing this. Of course, I can remember in the original, when I played through this on the PlayStation 2, when it first came out, I can remember hating the track. I can remember hating the magnet tracks. Alright, I'm going to tread very carefully here. Yeah, there was no stream yesterday. That's why I'm doing a Wednesday stream. Just so I don't lose my pacing, at least as far as the archives go. Because I've got this planned out a certain way. And I, I really don't want to throw it off. Alright. Keith's Fantasy Club is making an unofficial Blitzwing. Good for them. Like, <laughs> I'm sorry, like, I, ha I have no words for how little I care about third party. I still don't know what happened to my quick select. It's not working on me, so... Overkill! Some people might can some people might call it overkill. I would say they are not trying hard enough. Yep. I have no rockets left, so I Oh, I cannot. I was going to beat it to death, and I cannot. Do this, just in case I do something stupid again, I don't have to do the track anymore. Any TCGs? I've got a I've got a deck of Yu-Gi-Oh cards that I haven't used in years. It's probably illegal as hell now. Ah, uh, come on. Jeez, I I don't even have something equipped to my quick select. 
I got something missing. Alright, so, uh... What do I have? I guess I got another tank to deal with, so I gotta have something explosive. Whoa! Oh, no, that's not good. Thoughts on the Masterpiece Ironhide and Ratchet Mold? Takara needs to hire better photographers. Because right now, Ratchet look Like, the shots on Ratchet look terrible. Like, for some reason, they've got this one pose they put their toys in lately that just looks hideous. They did it for... they're not doing a uh, Lyle Kaiser. I thought for sure that's what the club would do. Instead, we're getting this horrific Beast Wars combiner that nobody wanted. Do I like Call of Duty? No. My shooting games have to be unrealistic. Hey, I know you two. Look, the plumber's back. Very funny. What are you doing here, sir? Maintenance. What else? I help fix this planet's useless air defenses. Well, I think you'd better hurry up. The turret works fine, you little yahoo. It's the locals. They haven't got the skilled manpower to use it. I'm a pretty good shot. You? No, I could lose my job. Oh, come on. What's the sense of keeping up a turret if nobody's gonna use it? Besides, the blog chased you off the last planet. Why don't we pay him back? Well... All right, go on if you want. Just don't break anything. Okay, so, uh, here, before the turret section, I really want this health container. Uh, Fallout 4, no. Absolutely not. Painkiller. No. Um, Conquer's Bad Fur Day. Absolutely. Conquer's Bad Fur Day is awesome. <laughs> oh, now it's getting fun. It's fun before, but no, nope. caught that. Uh-oh. Hang on. Well, look who's awake. You're lucky I was here to drag your unconscious keister out of that turret. <laughs> okay. I got the Apparently, I'm not watching for incoming rockets well enough. Let's try this again. Oh, jeez. Fire. There we go. One down. Dude, maybe it's, uh, if you ask three times, then I probably don't have an answer for you. I don't have a favorite Yu-Gi-Oh couple. I really don't ship it. I don't. I do. I don't ship Yu-Gi-Oh stuff. I. 
The, let's be honest, the characters in Yu-Gi-Oh! end up so thin, I really don't have any kind of invested interest in their romantic future. This is like, I'm sorry, like, like I know a lot of people want to ask something while they've got my ear, but... I'm trying to focus on the game a little bit. Like, if you, uh, you got something to ask and I, you don't get it in uh, before the stream, then uh, nothing I can do for you. Boom, 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 boom. Yay! Well, well, well. Looks like he's good for something after all. Here, take this. What is it? It detects underground bolts. My grandfather designed it to suck up loose change on any planet in the galaxy. What a cheap old man he was. Well, see you around sometime. Since you now own the metal detector, a bolt icon will show up on screen whenever you are near a buried stash of bolts. When equipped, the metal detector will give you signals to indicate your proximity to the buried bolts. The detector plate will always indicate the direction to the bolts. Hold down the circle button to activate the device. As you move closer to the bolts, the rings will become redder and the beeping will become faster. Continue holding down the circle button and once you are directly over the bolts, the metal detector will suck them out of the ground. Everyone get that? Thing makes the weirdest noise. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, enough clowning around. Where do I go now? View mission scout. I still have to scout the area. Okay. What's left? Oh, we got a whole thing with Matt. Oh, great. I got a whole track of magnet paths so I can get to walk across. Yay! Okay, so I got this big old roller coaster of things I have to go do. Hmm. Oh no, it's oh no, it's a grind boot section. I forgot about this. Okay, this could so easily go wrong, but let's go ahead. Flippy. Hey, uh, jump, jump. Oh. 
<laughs> Look at me, I'm Tony Hawk of Skate Grind. Who's the Who is the Tony Hawk of whatever I'm doing right now? The only one I've ever seen do this is Sonic the Hedgehog. What? Uh, uh, uh. Long jump, long jump! Ah! There go my balls. Uh, jump, jump, jump. Whee! I don't think it's physically possible to be turning the way I am turning in mid grind jump. Whee! Okay, uh, what's coming up next? Camera behave? Hang on. Back over. Jump up. Jump. Oh, I hate that jump. Oh. Huh? And over. Back again. Yeah. Let's see. When I joked about this being a roller coaster, I didn't think it was this serious. to save the galaxy speak for yourself and put your hands down you look ridiculous actually i don't care who you are i've got to get the heck out of here i joined the army to get money to go to college i never knew i'd end up in a war go figure this is a noble cause sir noble my heine i just want to get home to my family here i pulled this off a busted robot give me some bolts for a bus fare and it's yours <sighs> Everyone wants a handout. Okay, fine. Good luck saving the galaxy or whatever. Can I just grab these things off eBay? Greetings, Supreme Executive Chairman Drake. As you can see, we're about to test our newest automated pilot's helmet. This helmet allows pilots to control our latest high-tech motors using only their thoughts. Please enjoy the demonstration. Perfect. We still have a, a few minor adjustments to make. Oh, if they ever get the kinks worked out of that thing, I have got to get me one of those. If they are working for Chairman Drek, they may know where he is. Is that all you can think about, Drek this, Drek that? I got my own problems. If you cannot see the importance of this situation, you do have problems. Yeah? Well, if you're so smart, how come you fell for Quark's stupid trick? Ah, forget it. We both need to get to this planet, and that's all that matters. <laughs> Considering he can just, like, dump us off a cliff and fly away anytime he wants, I don't think I would be acting like such a wise-ass to him. But that's just me. Okay, I don't think they hit anything else around here. So, back we go. Uh, the TAV-32 Optimus, is that the big one that actually transforms correctly? Because that one I really, really like. I just haven't gotten around to grabbing one. Oh, no, 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 I didn't mean to do I didn't mean to do I didn't, didn't, uh, no. <laughs> okay. Clank is technically a kid. Depending on how fast space travel is in this game, Clank is technically still, like, on his first day of birth. I got some great bargains for you today. Visibomb gun. Steer your missiles with deadly accuracy using the onboard video relay. Fun. Camera and I specialize in like super obscure cartoons, so there's plenty that I haven't reviewed for TJTV that nobody talks about. Yeah, that was not a like, that was not a wall jump moment. I've been to Orkson. 
search the little board. I have, but we also have uh, traverse the wilderness, explore as right. Oh yeah, I need a, I need a gas mask for that. I can't. I can't remember if I. Hmm. I can't remember if I can do that as clank or not. I think I can. I don't remember where the gas mask is. Find the pilot's helmet. Not reviewed. Mighty Max or Street Sharks. Uh, I'm working on Street Sharks. Uh, the mask. If I do the mask, it's going to be the crossover episode with Ace Ventura. Anyone know if Quickslinger is worth the eBay markup? Only if you want a full set of five distinct aerial bots, because it's the same toy as all the other aerial bot limbs. Two mask organic life forms. Okay, there is a question mark I think I can reach. Yeah, I have to take the path up here. Four eyes a possible candidate? I've never heard of it. No, no idea what it is. The G1 My Little Pony cartoon. I do have plans for TJTV and My Little Pony, but they're probably not the ones you expect. And Extreme Ghostbusters. Once upon a time, like, I had a friend who wanted to review Extreme Ghostbusters first, and I think he just completely fell off the... I think he, fell, he completely fell off the reviewer spectrum. Uh, would I recommend Hobby Link Japan? Absolutely. That's still where I get most of my imported toys. Either oh come on this is oh this oh okay. I just took the exit back okay never mind. I'm glad I noticed that. Uh, thoughts on the Captain N cartoon? I have a certain nostalgia for it, but I you have to fully admit it is a really, really badly done series. Like, there are episodes of Captain N where the animators forgot to put the background in. Oh, oh, Mad Demon. The Gothatropolis Ravens? No, I never had the chance to buy them. They look cool. Like, there are ones I would probably get, except... Like, I, I'm trying really hard not to add anything to my collection that's just out of place. Like, as cool as they look, I have no idea what I would do with them. Like, they just don't... They don't fit in anywhere. Click, 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 and they all die. Great! Ooh, this is where they make the Vespin gas. Uh, that or the... Oh, great, I need six. Changeling, you saw Master Rider? I'm sorry. I'm genuinely sorry. 
Oh, Jerv, nice. That's <laughs> two of those amiibo down, one uh, one to go. What sucks is the one that you're missing, I would call the best one. Like, the squid amiibo unlocks the challenge, challenge levels that are so much fun. Run away! Uh, Rick, I... Uh, let's see. Uh, Revenge of the... Uh, Master of the Universe Classics. I got... I only have one Revenge of... Well, hang on. He wanted to say Revenge. I only have one Master of the Universe Classics figure, and I do intend to review it. Worst adaption, Master Rider Dragon, uh, Master Rider by far, by far the worst. Like I have a lot of problems with Dragon Knight too, but not nearly as bad, not nearly as bad. Oh, wait, hang on. Where's the, where's the next ramp up? It's over there. Go quickly, my children. Do not die. Do not die here, or else I cannot lead you to your deaths. Dragon Knight, I think, got too convoluted trying to put, trying to keep as many writers around as possible, switching to the black costume with two different versions of our lead hero running around. It just, I don't know, it, got, it really got on my nerves. Enter. All right, now for the other three. Do I think Gaim would make a good adaptation adaptation in the U.S.? No. No, you would not get kids to buy... You would not get kids in America to buy fruit-shaped padlocks. Would never... Or in action figures of fruit... Of, like, fruit-wearing samurais. It just... No, it would not work. Like, if you're going to adapt a Kamen Rider series at this point, the best one you're... The best one you're looking at is probably O's. Because the first thing you have to do with a common Rider is make sure it doesn't look like a Power Ranger. And O's, being multicolored as he is, definitely does not look like a Power Ranger. But, you also have to think about how things are merchandised here in the U.S. For O's, you have a lot of action figures with all the different forms he has. More importantly, you have uh, the O medals that we can now sell. And we know we can sell those because Ranger Keys did so well in the U.S., and America right now is all about the the games to life play pattern, which means those O medals could be used for a a games to life style game. Like you just get like a plug and play one, and then you just scan in the medals instead of sta scanning in a figure. So they work two ways. Uh, can I do the Legend of Zelda cartoon? Um, that's part of the Super Mario Brothers Super Show. Like, on its own, it's not really fair to review that show. I'm not really sure how I would do the Super Mario Brothers Super Show. I've, got, I've actually given it thought. Because it's weird. I, that's basically like reviewing three shows in one. When you break it down that way. Oh man, they even hiss like snakes. Moving right along.
Hurry, my children. Hurry. Follow it. No, don't follow it. Uh, Galador or Dinozaurs? Uh, I have heard of both. Dinozaurs... Dinozaurs is kind of awful. I, rem I do remember that. I also remember the toys looking really, really cool, but most of them are almost all clear plastic, so they scared the life out of me. Not, like, I heard, like, some of them actually are, like, pretty fragile. Oh, no. Ah, one of them got lost. Please tell me it didn't get blowed up. Please tell me it just got hung up at a corner or something. Or they don't have to go all the way back. Okay, good. Just got got hung up on a ramp. You idiot. Come on. Got half a mind to let that dynamite get you. Man, Kabuto might make a good ad adaptation. You get a lot of Beetleborg comparisons. But I don't think it's a good idea to get the original actor to do the English voice. I know he speaks really good English, but I've heard him speak in English. And uh, the, thing, the, the thing about it... His English does not, like, he just doesn't have the same tone that the character requires when he speaks in English. Like, the one time you actually hear that is a little promo where he's in the theater watching uh, Kamen Rider Stronger. You know, he's saying, if that's Kamen Rider Stronger, then I am Kamen Rider Strongest. Uh, that's the only time where you really get to hear him speak in character in English and it doesn't work like it sounds completely different than any other time he's speaking just the the tone the is just completely different boom bang uh, okay there we go that would have been silly to miss Man, I need health. Yep. Follow me. You too. Come on, all of you. Come, my little jubblies. Gang up. Join them! Go! Everyone attack! Together you are invincible! Frowning around me like lost puppies now. Alright, let's see if I actually got them all. No! Oh, what? What took you? I thought I had to go back and find you. The cannons I get. Did the wall just piss you off? No, 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 no. I wonder if this is technically cannibalism. Just him just going around gobbling up all these bolts and... Okay, I'm overthinking it now. Alright, bot. Where can I go next? Hmm. Better not let Ratchet see this one.
Alright, so the suspense is now killing me. Now we must go back and... Okay, where's my return? There's my return. Hmm, wall bolts. Alright. Back to the ship again. I will show you this, but you must promise to stay focused on our mission. Is it something about Quark? Cities are full of smog, swamps are full of muck, and tar pits are full of tar. But here at Joe I Resort, the sun shines 24 hours a day. Visitors get a free O2 mask to explore our warm waters. The benign marine life will welcome you to the big blue world under the sea. Uh, you can also use our complimentary flippers to partake in speed swimming. <laughs> so come to Joe I Resort and leave your world and your troubles behind. Joe I Resort, Pokey Taru. I knew it. Oh, come on. Switch off your nerd circuits and have some fun. Look, we'll go just long enough to pick up the O2 mask. Perhaps the extra oxygen will help your brain to function properly. Yeah, and maybe the salt water Ooh. will rust your mouth shut. Oh! So happy together. Uh, the bromance is breaking down. Alright. Pokitaru! The only objective, check out the resort. Yeah, yeah Rick, uh, I wouldn't mind seeing that. Metricon actually put Locke and Celez in one of their human chess matches, which was absolutely epic to see. I believe it's the same chess match where they put in Kamen Rider X, so it's just like, they loved me that year. I'm actually, like, I'm really, like, uh, campaigning for them to include Kefka, because this year's Metrocon theme is Order vs. Chaos. And I think uh, it's Kefka, so of course he has to be on the Chaos side of the board. Cameron, like, I know, like, uh, okay, like, seriously, dude, like, you apparently really like, you really want this Four Eyes show on TJTV? Honestly, if I've never seen it, I'm probably not going to put it on TJTV, because I, I want to work with what I remember from childhood. You know, like, that really doesn't do... That's a real beauty. Oh, quiet. Yeah, I don't want to really grab anything until I can get the Visit Bomb gun. Everything else is just kind of there. Alrighty, what do you want? Hey, you two are the first friendly faces I've seen in weeks. You are friendly, aren't you? To you, yes. To him, no. Well, friends, have I got a deal for you. Since the Blarg <laughs> began dumping their toxic sludge into our ocean, the wildlife has, uh... Become ravenous mutants? Yes. You could say that. All my customers either left or became lunch. <laughs> so I'm closing the place down. However, I just so happen to have one, count them one, O2 mask left. How much? It's not for sale. <laughs> but you said. I said I had a deal, and indeed I do. You boys get rid of those blarg ships, and it's yours. Just escort me to the other end of this resort, and you can use our jet fighter. <laughs> jet fighter, eh? All right. But you better not try to stiff us. Okay. This is where, uh, this is where the emulator really hates me, because apparently it doesn't really like this level. It's already trying to lag out, lag out on me. Whoa! Go away, go away! Oh, so yeah, spike him! Yeah, 
and they don't give up. Camera, work with me here. I need to see what's ahead of me. Oh, it's oh, it's it's still on the it's still on the stupid metal detector. Uh, yeah, I got blaster. I got blaster now. Yay! All right. For a second there, I thought he was gonna leave without me. Ah, uh, that didn't go well. Oh, I know what I need there. <laughs> Any TFCC toys for Plastic Addict? I wouldn't mind. There we go. Come on, Tubby. Ah. That works better. New Galvatron? New Galvatron looks really cool. The head, like, Galvatron as the Headmaster thing looks really weird, but I'm very happy that they got his cannon mode in. Because that was always the big debate. Would kids even bother buying a Galvatron, uh, like, a cannon mode Galvatron? So, like, putting in a jet mode makes absolute sense. Ah! Uh, thoughts on Combiner War Ultra Magnus White Optimus? That's not Ultra Magnus. That's not Ultra Magnus, and I genuinely don't care. It's just an Optimus repaint with a slightly new head. Alright. I don't know what it is. Like, right here, the camera does not want to cooperate with me. We're gonna try this again. I still think the suck cannon is the right tool for the job. again, the cannon working against me. Camera. Hang on, I have to aim my suck. Oh, come on, they're right there. Fine. I am mine. Me. I am mine. Not even hitting anything this way.
And there's no splash damage in the water. It's just like whatever it hits. Okay, what else do I have? Does the blaster work? What did the fish leave their parents on Krypton? What what am I fighting? Seems the one thing I have that actually works is a flamethrower in the water. I'm not gonna argue it. Changeling, yes, it is a PG stream, so I allow myself the rare mild profanity. If this was completely profanity-free, then this would be rated G. But I am not a Disney cartoon. Oh! Run away, run away, hang on, hang on, hang on, whoa, 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 Better. So apparently, if they are in the water and I'm just, like, trying to stay dry as I fight them, they're invincible. I will admit, not the best of programming, guys. Yeah, he's already, t he's already ready to take off without me. Hi. Giant sky centipede. I need to upgrade this, like... Like... The suck cannon really would have worked the first time if I could have just sucked up more fish. Because it's actually more effective that way than firing it. Oh yeah. <laughs> Super trustworthy, yeah. He is, a, he is the used car dealer of space here. He does run a big tourist trap. Big tourist trap full of sentient, like, evil mutant Magikarp here. Whoa! That's what I mean, like, ran out of suction right when I needed it. Ugh, this camera! This camera is not changing fast enough. Like, it's, I'm, I'm getting lost on the corners here. It's gonna be the death of me, very literally.
Uh, this is what I mean. I need to see what's over to the left. Whoa! Exactly for that reason. Come on. Come on. There we go. We're here. Now where's that fighter? Right there in that locked garage. One tourist crashes a jet and wham! <laughs> Lawsuit. That lock is unlike any I am seeing. Very astute observation, Mr. Shiny. I can't open it either. I don't trust the tourist. And the board of directors don't trust me. <laughs> so we have a little problem. We have a little problem. I just want the O2 mask. So if you can't open up the lock, that's your problem. Now cough up the mask. Well, I can see that you really wanted to fly our jet. So I'll tell you what. <laughs> Go talk to Bob at his Robo Shack. He knows about these locks. Okay, and if you couldn't open the lock before, why didn't you use the special features of a Gatitron cluster pack to activate this switch? You can find one at Bob's Robo Shack just around the corner. Thanks. So apparently he's so desperate to open up this switch, he couldn't walk ten feet. It's the only observation I wanted to make here. Hmm. Robo Shack, the place that I'm sure will never go out of business. Well, well, what do we got here? Hey, watch it. I recognize that work. You're up in Seattle, ain't you? Yeah, he installed the helipad. I can see that. I taught that idiot brother of mine everything he knows. Look, if you want some real hardware, I can fix this little fella up with a thruster pack. Ooh. Will it help us get past that weird lock by the fighter garage? Ah, you know about those gizmos, huh? Well, it sure as heck will. It's got a real special power slam move built right in. It's a good thing I need this to get to that jet, or you'd be out of luck, pal. <sighs> okay, okay. More people want bolts. I'm trying to save up for guns, but okay. I've got it. I'll have you fixed up faster than a horny toe to hopping. Don't tell me what the toes are doing. Better or no? That's right. I am the man. <sighs> yeah, not bad. Thruster pack. So now my tail gets incinerated when I do my hover jump. Nice. All right. Hang on. Uh, no, no, no. There we go. And I get a butt slam. Okay, so this is yeah, this is where I need the pilot helmet, right? You will need a Blargian pilot helmet to operate this jetpack. Our scanners do not indicate such a device on this planet. So once again. We have an entire scanner that can cover an entire planet for the sole purpose of making sure what merchandise is available on that planet. Okay. Okay, okay. Where was the pilot helmet? Probably there. Thank you. Ratchet and Clank. The quest for hats.
Good thing I kept this equipped. Ah! Mousers! I'm getting assaulted by mousers! No. Do I look like Master Splinter to you? Where are you? Oh my god, where are you coming from? I didn't even see a dispenser around here anymore. I blew one up. What was that thing I said about overkill earlier? Eh, well, I don't care. Whee! Oh, come on, come on, come on, give me, give me some, give me something. Yeah! I'm pretty sure that's like one of the skill points in the game. Alright, so once, as usual, we've got, like, multiple paths, kind of loop around, and yeah, I need to go the other way. Whoa. No, get away. Ah, it went about as well as I expected it to. All right, trying this again. As the emulator doesn't like this level either, I might have to tweak. I might have to tweak it again once you know, after the stream. Get in. No. Okay. Get in. Get there. We go. absolutely necessary for us. I don't know what you're talking about. My opinion on the new Gundam season, I have no... What, what the? What was that? What the hell? But yeah, uh... I have absolutely no opinion on the new Gundam season. I am, like, I care so little for Gundam. Whoa, 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 whoa. No, 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 no. That's right. these bombs. Yeah, I really don't like that this is an emulator. I I'm gonna have a capture device by the time I get to the next Ratchet and Clank game. I, like, I have the actual game, so I really hate doing it this way, just because it's so imprecise. 
And yes, War Greymon is getting a figure art. He's had a figure art, like, two times already, and now he's getting a third. Come on. Uh, I actually got the original one, like, sitting in my pile of loot over PBTS. I haven't gotten around to shipping it yet. I'm waiting for Battle Grimlock. Once Battle Grimlock comes in, then I can ship my loot. No, 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 no. See, now it goes in when I'm not even trying to get in. All right. I could probably jet down the other way, but I really don't feel like risking it. Okay, okay, never mind. This is just as dangerous. I don't keep track of Japanese voice actors. Which is really bad of me, but, like, I don't watch enough stuff in Japanese. A uh, favorite Ratchet and Clank game is actually... That's actually kind of hard to say. Like, I... Ugh. That sucked. Oh my god, no! Really? Man, I forgot this game is not... This game is not friendly. This game is not merciful on checkpoints. Oh, I didn't... I, I, oh, come on. I didn't hit him. There we go. Alright. There'll be no rage quitting. There's frustration. There's frustration at cheap ass enemy tactics. I can handle those bombs in one or two, but... Oh, no, 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 no. Hey. Come on, nothing hit him. Employer fracture for plastic attic? No. See, that toy is meant to be a big gimmick figure, and it's not like trying to disguise that fact, and it is not apologetic about that fact, so it's really not a fair review for plastic addict. Like, it's meant to. It's meant to be, it's meant to do a big dumb gimmick, and it does a big dumb gimmick. You know, that's uh nothing else to really say about that. Yay. Just like shooting it. If someone was cosplaying me at, at Metro, uh, that would be really creepy. That would be really creepy. I'm not famous enough to cosplay. 
Like, if someone that was there in one of my shirts, that would be really cool. If someone was there with a shirt, a long, long hair, and, like... Like, if, if someone was there, like, shirt, long hair, blue jeans, like, that would be just, like, uncanny valley level of creepy. Ah. Uh. Do I know someone who... Someone called Natalie who won Metrocon 2015 Anime Idol? No. I, don't pay, I honestly don't pay attention to the Anime Idol contest. Okay, so this is getting really bad, guys. This is getting, like, really bad. Okay, um, I'm gonna be honest, guys, I'm going to, like, completely ignore the chat room for a while. Like, I, I cannot redo this section again. It just looks too bad. So, like, I'm sorry if you want something answered. It's, uh, not getting answered for a while. Sorry, I've gone really quiet. I'm putting in effort. I wish the enemies were spawned right now. I just like kill them from here. Flamethrower. Oh, 
Whoa! Okay, no. So that worked. Uh, what else do I have? Not a whole lot right now. Okay, what next that I have no ammo to do anything about? Any other weapon? Okay, that's why I'm not getting the range. I confuse my mines and my bombs. The bomb really doesn't have much for me here in the first place. Yeah, this is a good frustration venter. the helmet Jeez. now I remember why my planet why my memory of this planet is so vivid absolute utter hatred Okay, uh, let's get back to actual human interaction. Hi, guys. Yeah, the lag on this, no, I, I, I'm sorry about the lag, guys. Uh, this planet is just really, really rough. Like, the more... It's not the longer I play it. It's the fact that there's so much going on in this stage. Like, the more background objects it has to handle, the worse it gets. And Ratchet and Clank games are notorious for putting in a lot of background objects. Is that where I just was? Yeah. That's where I was. So that's where I was. Alright, I have the pilot helmet now. Now I can actually pilot things. Uh, my 
Okay, look. Demon, it's got nothing to do with how powerful the computer is. The computer is plenty powerful. Like, I can still run brand new games at full speed on this computer. Uh, the, it all has to do with... Uh, <clears throat> emulation is just not an exact science. Like, simple as that. No, can't remember how to get to that gold bolt. Okay. So now we can actually go back to the resort. Yeah, PS2 emulation is kind of wonky. Uh, like, I set it to, like, the best settings that I could figure out. And during the first stage, it plays fine. Like, the lag never gets noticeable. The later stages where things get way more complicated get way worse. I'm hoping once we get to, like, the final levels where it's more, like, corridors and things, it'll calm down a little bit. Uh, I'm so close. I'm so close to the next real gun. Visit the scenic Jawai Resort sewers. Uh, maybe later. Yeah, like right here, it's real bad. All right, let's. Uh... Get back to oh no, oh no hang on hang on hang on we need we need to fight the three eyed fish from the Simpsons again fly the jet plane. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Sure, sure. Yeah, see, this is why this stage lags. Look how much stuff is going around. And this is like, this was all going on in this guy. Hey, get, go away from me. No, no, stop that! You're here for me to shoot, not to shoot back at me. No, go, oh, no, no way. Man, if only I had some kind of, some kind of roll I could do. Like, oh, I don't know, a, a crate roll, or a, I don't know, a drum roll, I, I don't know some kind of piloting skill that would come in handy here. I want to take care of those big flying centipedes. I think that's really all I have to take out. Yeah, because I'm kind of just having fun here. I will admit, like... 
I was oh oh. I was looking at like uh, flight sim games, something that let me do this as like the actual gameplay. I thought that'd be fun to stream. Couldn't find anything though. It was like surprisingly thin. Like looking for something that lets me play like Star Fox on a PC. seriously play a whole game that's like this. Things to fly around and shoot. Wee. Okay, he ran into a he ran into a building. Fair enough. Ah, oh, there's the other one. Man, every time I come to an approach on one of these things, some of those... There we go. Should do it. <laughs> Here you go. It's about time. As soon as we get one hat, we switch it for another. All right. So, how are we doing mission-wise? Uh, check out the resort. There is still something I need to find here. Is it the sewer part? Do I have to actually do... Oh, I have to do the sewer part. Alright. Off to the sewer level! See, without all the ships flying around, this is much smoother. Well, until I actually look at the ships. Dun dun dun. Dun 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 dun. Alright, so it's all going to be water puzzles. Oh, hey. Hi, Slimy. Mmm, bolts. Alright. Uh, I need to switch up the quick select so I've got my appropriate gadgets. Uh, the trespass is already there. But I don't think we'll need that, so I need the Hydro Displacer. Suck up the water. And I remember seeing something for the Trespasser to get through back here. It's weird they put an electronic lock underwater, but hey, I'm no designer. There we go. 
almost like I knew what I was doing. Oh, geez, I had to. <laughs> I I have to go put the water back now. Great. Water back. Yeah, it ain't no water temple. At least, at least I can say that. Of course, I never had the trouble in the water temple most people did. Like, yeah, it's a hard dungeon, but it's not horrible. Let's set him on fire. Uh, the Rebel Tech Tigrex? I'm getting so tired of Rebel Tech toys, but I kind of make exception for Monster Hunter monsters, so probably. Like, Rebel Tech was great, but man, did it age fast. Like, the revolver joint just does not compare anymore. Okay, three of them. eyes on Rebel Tech Snake and Raiden. I don't care. <laughs> Revolver joints are awful. Like, it was so innovative at first. You know, it's like having a ratchet joint anywhere on the toy. But, man, they are finicky, and they are really hard to get into an accurate pose anymore. makes the underwater section so much more tolerable. Alright, so, uh... Yeah, I'm just gonna go over here. How many little slimers can we create? Quite a few, actually.
utterly pointless, but I had fun. One more lock. On a scale of on a scale of one to ten, how annoying are the unicorn and children humans? Um They got better in Cybertron. I generally like the ones in Cybertron. and secret substance. Raritanium? Um, maybe? The oceans on this we call it unobtainium where I come from. Of that element. Well, not anymore. All that toxic dumping has obscured any trace of it. You will find raritanium for me. No, I will not. Piece of junk. My latest invention, the Persuader. I intended to use it to control mines, but well, the only thing it's gotten me so far is a discount from Gadgetron vendors. Hey, I could use that. Well, I'll trade it for some raritanium. I believe planet Hoban is a source of that element. Our long-range sensors do not detect raritanium on this planet. Oh, come on. Our database indicates that the best place to locate this mineral is on planet Hoban. So once again, I have a quest. Like, in one hand, it's like, okay, that's nice. Like, the game's telling me, don't bother searching on this planet. Don't bother wasting your time here if you really need this. Just uh, go somewhere else. Like, not here. At the, same, at the other time, planet-wide scanner. Hey, hey, hey. All right. What planet was it? Like, I literally forgot. I, I literally forgot the planet they mentioned like two seconds ago. Menu noises. Menu noises. Okay, I don't have the planet yet. That's why. That's why it doesn't sound familiar. The only thing I can do is go back to Orkson. Oh, Junix, you're showing up late, man. Glad you can make it for some of it, anyway. Yeah, I'm doing better tonight. Like, I was just dead on my feet last night. There's no way I could have held it together long enough for a stream. Alright, so... Now with Ratchet as our lead character, it's like a whole new world for me. And this is where people start parroting Aladdin quotes. Alright, so... Where to? All the way down there. Okay! Whee! My feet are on fire! 
be honest, I didn't even notice him there. <laughs> I absolutely did not notice him there. That was idiot. That was stupid of me. Okay. Let's, uh... Let's show, like, a monicum of intelligence here. How about that? We'll do that. That's better. Stock bird noises. Oh, we're gonna do this now. It would not be a platform game if the platforms didn't sink when I stood on them. Oh, oh, oh God. Run away! This had nothing in my view but mad pinchers coming after me. God, I've had nightmares like that about the deadliest catch. And that didn't work. <laughs> Um, I might have to buy ammo here, because I need something that packs a little bit more of an impact, and there's, okay, there's Gadgetron. Hi there, fuzzball. How many do I have? Yep, max that out for me. No, oh, actually, I was gonna I was gonna wait till we get the persuader, but I don't know how long it's gonna take. So, I got some great Walloper, punch people hard. <laughs> Just so we're clear. All right, Visibomb. That's the punch I was looking for. And fire! Nice! This was a good investment. Really inefficient lock system when you think about it. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna switch it to the Devastator because I don't I don't need to use that rocket every single time. Oh no. Whoa. Whoa, 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 you can stop now. Change my mind. Give it give give it back to me. Oh god, that was a complete miss. A complete miss oh I don't have as much control over this as I expected to have. Can you see me from back here? 
I think I'm, I think I'm out of his range here. He is not out of mine. All right. Could use a tad bit of help here, but other than that... Bolts! Now I need them. I'm broke again. Okay, nothing going on in here. Whoa! Get away! Oh, no. Jeez! Things are tougher than I gave him credit for. Now, fire in the direction I'm looking at. <laughs> I got one of the pterodactyls while I was at it. going really silent here. I'm actually kind of getting into this now. Um, let's see. Well, he got some things off of that way. Doesn't look like anything important, but... Yeah. Oh, that's why I have a section off to the side. There we go. That was a oh, such a that was such a good time to buy that. That's come in handy immediately. favorite metroidvania i hate the term metroidvania because Metro because uh castlevania straight up stole the formula it's a metroid it's a metroid because castlevania symphony of the night is a metroid style game S simple as that um as far as favorite probably super metroid that's one of those games i play quite often just to remind myself how much I like it. Hello? Oh, 
Oh, this is good. Oh, it's one of those things I need to send minions in for, isn't it? Oh, well. It's like all it does is take out some enemies in advance. Whoa. Oh, you prick. <laughs> they go right back to sleep. They don't care. Man! These are tough shellfish! Uh... <laughs> okay, um... Guys, the game crashed. <laughs> oh, God. No. Come on. I had such little time left. Oh, I had enough time to clear this stage, and I... Oh. Okay, that's frustrating. Well, how are you guys doing? Mad Demon, it's auto save. And it auto saves at the beginning of the level. So, uh, yeah, we're going to have to go back and uh, redo this level again. I might, I might get back to this point and start the stream up right from this spot. Just to make sure that doesn't interfere, have anything on. Like, man, that's bad timing. Man, that sucks. Fangar, what happened last night was I was too tired to even sit up in my chair. Like, I was crashing out so hard. Like, even now, just to get to this, just to make it to the stream tonight, I had to take a nap. Okay, so, um, I've got a bit of time left, uh, I know a lot of people had things I was, uh, not, uh, not answering, so if there's anything, uh, anyone's got in their mind at the moment, or anything I missed, feel free to bring it up, might as well fill the last of the time. Oh, the 72 hour Fallout 4 stream? No, because I really don't, I, I don't care enough about Fallout 4, in which means I don't care about Fallout 4 at all. I don't like my shooters realistic. Don't. I, I don't, I, I don't like, I, I don't like the setting, I don't like the attitude of it. Uh, Thoughts on Yoshi's Woolly World? Honestly, haven't looked into it. Like, I, I have no doubt it's a good, it's a good game, I mean... Nintendo makes really solid first-party games, so... Um, oh, Junix, this isn't the end of Ratchet & Clank. I'll pick it up tomorrow. I'll pick up tomorrow probably from the point I left off right here, but um, once I get to the end of this game on stream, I will pick up a, you know, I will pick up a capture card, a capture device before I stream the rest of the game. So, I do want to do the rest of the series. I've got all of them. Well, I've got all the PS2 ones. Uh, favorite combiner toy still G1 Superior, or a G1 uh, Computron. Because I had two of those growing up with. I had two of those growing up. and I've told the story before, but I love the story. So, when the movie came out, my, my dad's boss, who at the time was like, closer to my age than his uh, got to talking to my dad about the movie and he mentioned having this big like box full of old G1 Transformers that he had to give away, that he had to get rid of or that, or that he still had and when we found out about it he figured out not only did he have it he had to get rid of it because it was stored at his parents house and his parents were two weeks away from moving 
So he just happened to need a place for those to go. So uh, they came to me. And inside that bag, inside that box that came in, uh, three Technobots, the three that I didn't have as a kid, that went with the two that I did have as a kid, and the parts for all five. Not the parts for just those three, the parts for all five, including all the parts I needed for the two I had had since it was a kid. Like, I, it was so perfect. Like, the toys I had that followed me, the t toys that survived childhood finally got to combine into Computron proper, and it's been in my shelf ever since. Love it. Uh, Super Robot Chogokin, Might Gain. I'm not attached enough. To, I don't know Brave well enough to try Might Gain. So I don't own the toy, nor do I plan to grab it. Uh, Undertale thoughts. I watched. Uh, I watched the Grumps play it on Steam Train. It looks amazing. I've got it on my Steam wish list. Uh, it's like. Old, like old school RPG done in like a super clever way. If you've never like, if you haven't looked, if it looks even remotely interest interesting to you, and you haven't seen any like full spoilery gameplay of it, uh, don't don't watch gameplay. Seriously, do not watch gameplay. It's ten bucks on Steam. Just go buy it. It's such a good experience. Mm -hmm. Like I'm I'm kind of upset. I watch through the streams. Just because I didn't think I'd ever... I, I don't have the time to sit down and play an RPG. Uh, chance of random review Computron? None. Um, there's a few on there that do have some broken bits. And I'm missing a... I'm, I am missing a, a couple parts here and there. Nothing major. But... Uh, I don't know. Like, I, I, don't, I don't think it worked too well on random review. Uh, deluxe groove I do want like if the, like, we know we know Hasbro has a remold for brawl as a drill tank so we know that they do have other technobots in mind I'm hoping the reason we don't have groove yet is because in Japan it's marketed as exclusive to the defensor set but I would not be at all surprised to see Hasbro use that for uh, for afterburner So I'm hoping that. I'm hoping for that. Uh, IDW's portrayal of Spike. Eh. Like, honestly, the human drama in the R I in the uh, the Transformer comics is just, like, such a background note to me. It's just kind of there. So it's like, I, I, I really don't care. It's not... Like, everyone who tries to rewrite G1 tries to do something, like, really weird and trying to do something really gritty with Spike. And I'm just like... I, that's, that's so out of spirit for the character. Like, uh, I'm not a fan. I'm hoping for Combiner War Computron, so am I. I really am. Uh, do I have the Gun Gun Saber? Yes, I do. Uh, I do have it. I want to review it. It's just one of those toys where I want to take my time and actually script out the review. Like, the only the only ones. The only ones I really, like, push out are, like, the DX drivers now. Like, ever since the Gaim review fell through, ever since the Sengoku driver reviews fell through, I really, really wanted to have those DX belts reviewed as fast as possible. And I'm, I'm very, like, I'm very happy to say that the Drive driver and, uh, and the Ghost driver were both reviewed within a week of their release. That made me happy. How should Hasbro do Combiner Wars Strafe? Um, on him, I would genuinely prefer a new mold. I wouldn't be surprised of if it reused some of the aerial bot parts, but what I would really want is some kind of futuristic jet. You know, like some kind of space vehicle that could later be repurposed as like a Combiner War uh, Scourge, like G1 Scourge. So I could have a team of sweeps for this Cyclonus that can combine with things and is absolutely pointless without having any sweeps to combine them with. Uh, any games I'm really looking forward to? Uh, not especially. Like, 
I hate to say that, but I don't really look out for what games are coming up. Not anymore. Like, Devastation was a big one for me. Uh, for ones I'm really looking forward to, um, still, I still want to hear more about the new Zelda that's coming out. Like, the new Zelda and the new Star Fox are, like, pretty big on my radar right now. Uh, thoughts on the new season of South Park? Don't watch South Park. I have not seen... I have not watched South Park in so long. Uh, would I play Overwatch? I'm not entirely sure I've seen Overwatch. I keep so out of touch with so many things. It's kind of embarrassing. Um, chance of Predaking, Abominus, or Piranicon? I, slim to none, honestly. Yeah, you you pretty much nailed the reason. Like Predaking, I wouldn't be surprised getting a Titan release, but it would have to be after the next one, because I think the next one is supposed to be Fortress Maximus for a combiner for a. Uh, what are they doing? Um. Oh, it's uh, Titan Returns. So yeah, they need a Titan, and I think that that's probably going to be Fortress Maximus. Uh, so it'd have to wait till the year after that. But I do think, like, with all the combiners going around, there's going to be a big demand for Predaking. It's just not going to. It's just not the right time for it. When I say figure arts and monster arts, do I want to be made? I'm pretty happy with what we've got. Like, outside of like getting Gamera away from his Revel Tech toys right now, uh, I'm pretty happy with the, what we're getting. Uh, I want more. I want more of the Pokemon line because I've really enjoyed the Figuar Pokemon. Uh, maybe more of the Digimon too, because I I remember like there was one toy line that was going to do Angemon and Devimon in this like really weird style, but I was really into it and it never happened. It really upset me. Uh, remake Final Fantasy VI. How do you like it done? As long as the storyline is there, uh, I'm happy. Like, outside of, like, preferring the graphics to be closer to the sprites rather than the concept art, uh, I really don't care as long as the story and the characters are there. I want to see that remade, though. Uh, favorite anime? Slayers. Like, I can My heart is in, like, the sword and sorcery thing. I love... I love the style of that show. I love the characters in it. Like, it's the right amount of silly for me. It's the right amount of over the top for me. Oh, is there a Monster Art camera? I, I didn't know if Bandai had the reason. Because the only, the only, uh, the only modern, like, articulated Gamera figure I've seen has been Reveltech. Which has been, like, stupid expensive for how small it is. Uh, what about, uh, Japanese original exclusive characters getting U.S. toys? Master Force, Victory. Well, you mentioned Victory. I'm going to say Star Saber. Like, I would, I'd really like for, like, some, like, just like a Voyager class Star Saber. Uh, let's see, um, favorite Mega Evolution? I'm actually not a fan of the Mega Evolutions. I think it kind of spoils the top, like, the three-tier, like, evolution thing that we've had for so long. I think it kind of spoils that. Not a fan. Can you sing? And if so, can you dance? Well, we can dance if you want to, if we leave your friends behind. Uh, I, I don't sing. I don't dance. I have, uh, I have the rhythm of a blender. Uh, okay, guys, um, things are starting to wind down, people are trailing off, and this game has been stuck on this frame for, like, like 15 minutes now, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and head out. Um, the stream will pick up normal time tomorrow. Uh, oh, 9 p.m. Eastern, just in case, uh, just in case you don't see the little thing on the side there. Um, 
yeah, I I might pick up at the beginning of the planet. I might just fast forward right to this point because this really got on my nerves. Like of all times for it to freeze. Uh. So that is frustrating. Thank you guys for watching. Thanks for sticking around, just to kind of chat with me a little bit. Uh, I will see you guys tomorrow, where hopefully we will not be having technical difficulties like this. So I'll see you then.